Welcome to Yoga with Tracy. I'm Tracy. This is a chair yoga sequence that I put together and I commonly taught this to many seniors in my community who had a limited range of motion either due to injury or maybe post-surgery. Um, so this is a practice that you want to take time, go gentle with yourself and just like any yoga practice you want to honor and respect the body. So anytime you're feeling uncomfortable with any range of motion or any pose, then you will not do it or just pull back a little. So to start your practice, you wanna find a chair with a very flat bottom, nothing with a curb. Ideally something that does not have handles on the side. If you do, that's not gonna to be a, too much of a problem. When you start your practice, your feet will be hip width distance apart and planted down firmly onto the ground. Both sits bones should be nicely planted onto the seat, shoulders stuck on top of the hips. Great. Now, we're going to start our practice where they're breathing in and then exhale. Take your hands to the heart. Inhale again. And exhale, hands to the heart. Again, inhaling and exhaling, hands to the heart. So whenever we're sitting, we want to be conscious of our belly drawn in, heart is lifted, and the crown of our head is lifted up to the sky. Again, breathing in, feeling tall and strong, out with the breath. Again, inhaling, lengthening, and exhale, breathing out. Last one, inhale, arms all the way up, and then take your hands to the heart. We're gonna take the hands up the midline, inhaling, hands are still together, and gently sway to the side, breathe out. Inhale, come on back to center, and exhale, breathe out to the other side. Inhale, back up, and then exhale, let's take our hands down onto the thighs. So we're going to open up our chest to a seated cow pose, opening up our heart, lifting our chest, chin slightly lifted, and then exhaling, we're going to draw the chin into the chest, our belly is reaching toward our spine in the back, fingertips reaching forward. Okay, dynamically doing this now, breathing in, opening up the chest, rolling the shoulders back, and exhale, rounding the back into a seated cat. So breathing in to cow pose, exhale to cat. So what we're doing here is gently articulating the spine, putting breath, mobility into our vertebrae. Inhaling and exhaling. One more time, inhale and exhale. Okay, come on back to center. Let's take the left arm up. Inhale, nice, tall, long spine. Exhale, sway to the side. Come on back to center. Breathing in and exhale to the side. <sighs> Inhale, breathing in and exhale to the side. Inhale, back up and then exhale down to the side. Let's gently nudge that elbow back Relax that shoulder. Can we look up with an inhale and exhale down, looking down. Inhale back up. Exhale down. Come on back to center, lifting and releasing. Let's do the other side. Tall, long spine. Inhale and exhale, sway. Soft shoulders, breathing in, love. Lift and lengthen and exhale. Again, breathing in, lengthen up, exhale, sway. Last one, breathing in, tall spine, exhale. Now we're gonna nudge that elbow back, soft top shoulder, look up gently and look down. Look up, inhale and exhale. Come on back to center, lift and release. Let's take the hands down to the side, roll the shoulders out for three, breathing, two, and one. Take the arms all the way up. 
Interlace the fingers, this time reaching all the way up. Lift and exhale, rounding the back, back into that cat rounded back. Inhale, lifting up. We're gonna take the hands behind our heads, lift up the chest, breathe out. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release. We're gonna try that again. Breathing in, interlace the fingers, lift up. Exhale, round the back. <sighs> Inhale, lift all the way up. Hands behind the head, supporting the neck. Breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, back up and release. <sighs> again, breathing in. Lift, breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, up. Exhale, out. <sighs> Inhale. And exhale, release. Well done. Let's roll out the wrist now. It's nice to have some articulation in the wrist. And as we age, sometimes we um, suffer from joint issues. So it's always really great to put that movement. So motion is lotion. So let's rotate the wrists and let's rotate them the opposite direction. Very good. Let's interlace the fingers, roll them one way and the other way, and then show me your roller coaster. I love doing this, so much fun. Always makes me happy. And did you notice I went both ways? So notice which way you're good at, and then the one that's grumpy, you will practice that more often to give yourself a little movement. Great, arms all the way up. Breathe in, and then breathe out. Okay, let's pretend we're playing the piano. And these are really heavy keys, so nice imagination here. So that means you really need to press hard with your fingers. So we're just gonna play this really amazing piano that expands from one side to the next. Very good. So we're doing gentle motion from side to side. Very good, come on back to center. We're gonna lower the hands, wiggle them all the way up. Breathe in and then wiggle them all the way down. <sighs> Let's shake out those wrists. Well done. Now, we're gonna take the body to the side. So, lifting your arms up, breathing in. Exhale, taking the right hand behind you. Inhale, lifting the other arm up, and exhale, hand to the side. Lifting and lengthening, breathing in. And we're exhaling, gently twisting to the right, soft shoulders. Inhale, always lengthening the spine on the inhalation, and exhaling, softening to the side. Again, breathing in, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Now, if the body allows this, I want you to gently look over to the opposite shoulder. Soft shoulders here, and for two gentle breaths, breathing in and out, inhaling and exhaling. And to come out of pose, we breathe in and then we release on the exhalation. Okay, arms all the way up, breathe in, exhale, left hand comes down, right hand comes over to the side, lifting and lengthening with the breath in. Inhale, exhale, twist. Again, breathing in, lengthening. Exhale, gently twisting. Inhale again, lift and lengthen. And exhale, twist. And then let's gently look over to the right side now. Two breaths here, breathe in and out. One more breath, in and out. And to remove yourself from this pose, breathe in and exhale, unwind. Well done. Let's roll up the shoulders. Breathe in and out. In and out. One more breath in and out. Okay, so now we're gonna have our hands in this like a C cup position and we're gonna activate the chi, the blood, the prana, our life force in our limbs. Okay, so I want you to start at the top of the shoulder and then come all the way down, right down to the fingertips. And we're tapping into the yang part of our body. 
Now I want you to tap on the inside of the arm. Maybe not as hard, or maybe just as hard or harder. Your choice, okay? And then come all the way over to the other side, starting at the top of the shoulder, and then gently tapping all the way down. What we're doing here is activating our chi, our life force, our prana, the life force in the body, activating the blood, the movement, so it helps to think about moving the blood up and down. Very good. Now we're going to do the inside, the yin part of our body. And once you feel like you've tapped enough, now we're going to do gentle pressure in and out with breath. On the out and on the in, we'll do one more. Out. In, out, in. <sighs> Just take a moment here. Notice what you're feeling in the arms and the shoulders. Take a breath. <sighs> well done. Let's look over to the right side. Hold it here and breathe. Inhaling and exhale. Come back to center. Let's go over to the other side. Breathing in and out, come on back to center. Let's do a little chin tuck to lengthen the back of our neck. So a lot of times our neck and head protrude forward. We're gonna bring it back and then let's gently tuck it in, lengthening the back of the neck, breathing here. Very good, we're gonna look up gently. I want you to imagine you're holding a really beautiful Florida grapefruit right there. Holding it, breathing in and out. Well done, come on back to center. I'm gonna take the hands to the sides of you. Let's lower the left ear to the left shoulder. Notice how that feels. Let's take that left hand on top of the head, gently place it there, breathing knowing your limits and how this feels. Now, if this is not enough of a stretch for you, maybe you wanna send energy out through those right fingertips. Breathing here, inhaling and exhaling. To release out of the pose, we're gonna breathe in and then exhale, gently release. Okay, let's go to the other side. Right ear to right shoulder. How does this side feel? Gently place that right hand onto the right side of the head. Ooh, the head itself is pretty heavy, so be good to yourself. Maybe you don't want the hand there. And let's send energy out through those left fingertips. Breathing here, sending energy, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, and then exhale, gently release. Okay, this calls for shoulder rolls. For three, don't forget to breathe, two, and one. Let's take the arms all the way up. Let's touch our fingertips together and let's take them to the sides. Again, breathing in, touch the fingers together and then gently to the sides. Now this time I want you to touch the fingers together, breathe in, Open up your fingertips and squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Inhaling, exhale, squeeze. Breathing in, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades behind you gently or forcefully, but nothing too painful, right? Breathe in and out, always going within your comfort zone. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's bring our arms up into this goal post, making this nice big goal post here. If you can relax your shoulders, show me your yoga fingers. Inhale here, exhale, twist. Inhale back to center, exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale back to center, exhale, release. Roll the shoulders out for three, two, and one. Now I want you to lift and release. Again, breathing in and release. One more time. Inhale 
and release. <sighs> okay, let's go down to the bottom part of our body. Let's start tapping on it. So nice little C cups of the hip. We're gonna gently tap all the way down to the sides of our body. And when we get down, we're gonna start tapping on the inside of the body. Okay, don't forget to breathe. Tapping, on the out, tapping on the inside. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. Tap, down, tap on the inside. Okay, now breathe in, exhale. Gentle pressure as you come down. Inhale, gentle pressure on the inside of the leg. Breathing in and exhale. Gentle pressure on the outside of the leg. Inhale, gentle pressure on the inside of the leg and roll the shoulders back. Now let's put everything together. We're gonna take the arms all the way up. Breathe in, touch the fingers, Exhale, hands to the side. Inhale and exhale, gentle pressure down the sides of the legs. Inhale, gentle pressure on the inside of the legs. So what we're doing is we're activating the yang and the yin of our body. Breathing in, exhale, hands to the side. Breathe in and exhale, dive down. Inhale, hands on the inside of the legs. And exhale, roll the shoulders back. Can we do two more? Breathing in. Exhale, hands down to the sides. Breathe in. Exhale, down. Inhale, always breathing in as you come up. And exhale, roll the shoulders back. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands down. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to the sides. Breathe in hands on the inside, and then roll the shoulders back. Breathe out. Well done. Now, with your left foot placed down onto the earth, you're going to lift gently that right leg up, that right knee. I want you to pull and hold it here. If it's too difficult to pull here, maybe this is a better option for you. It's your choice, your yoga. I want you to breathe in and breathe out. Okay, other side. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing in, see I'm doing this underneath option. And out, again, breathing in, other side. And out, we're gonna do one more on each side. In and out. Inhaling, sitting tall and exhaling. Well done. Now, can you Place your hands on your knees, or on your thighs rather, or to the sides for support. So, depends on your stability, you may want to hold on to the side of your chair. Because we're going to plant the feet down to the ground, and on the inhalation, we're going to breathe in, lifting up the right leg, and exhale, kick it out. Inhale, and exhale. Breathing in, breathing out, in, and out with the breath. Again, in, out, in, out. Breathing in, out, in, and out. Last set, breathe in, exhale out. Breathing in, and out. Breathe in, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Well done. Now I want you to see if you can take this leg and take that foot and cross it over. Not onto the knee, but just a little bit on the thigh. Lifting up the chest, draw the belly in. Inhaling here, leading with the chest. Come forward until you feel a nice, gentle stretch into that right hip. And then as you feel something here, round the back and melt. Breathing here, nice deep breath in and out. One more breath, inhaling, exhaling. Okay, with a tight belly to support your spine, you gotta come up. So inhale, tight belly, breathe in as you come up, and then exhale, slowly release that leg. Well done, we're gonna do the other side. Breathing in, and then exhale, gently place that foot over and onto the thigh here, okay? Make sure you're very nice and stable with that bottom foot. 
drawing the belly in, feeling long and tall. We're breathing in here. And then exhale, you will hinge at the hips, lead with the chest, and once you start feeling something into that hip, I want you to round the back and melt the shoulders. Take a breath here, inhaling, and exhale. Melt the face and relax your neck. Inhale, exhaling. With a tight belly, press on up. Inhale, and then exhale, release. <sighs> Take your hands down to the side, reach, lengthen, give yourself a little shake. Shakey, shakey, shake. Shake those legs. Well done. Take your feet back down, shake out the arms. Well done. We're going to take the arms all the way up. Inhale here, and then exhale. Take your hands to the heart. That completes our practice for today. I hope you enjoyed. Namaste.